Elm Logistics. For all your logistic needs, call 631-299-3595. That's 631-299-3595. Elm Global Logistics. Pride, performance, and partnerships. WWE with the nation of domination, which, by the way, should be inducted into the Hall of Fame. How did that angle all come about, the nation? That's a Ron Simmons uh, idea from from minute one, and um, you know Ron was languishing around as as Farouk with the, with the blue helmet and the Spartacan outfit, and uh, he took some time off, and he'd come back and pitch the idea of, of this of a militant group, and then that's when they started assembling the cast. They brought in Crush and Savio and and PG thirteen and Clarence Mason, and then it was about surrounding Ron with as much as many good guys as possible and then fortunately i got brought into the mix as as you know in january 97 as as the bump guy because they had all these guys that were wearing suits and i don't know if you know but back when the nation first started it was clarence mason and a bunch of brothers wearing suits well those were all clarence's fraternity brothers so none of them were trained wrestlers so here you are you got this heel group getting all this heat on baby faces and ron can't be touched because he's a top guy Savio and Crush can't be touched because they're like a top tag team for the for the group. So bring in, take a bump, D'Lo, so I can take all the heat and, and the people can get even with me. D'Lo bump? Wait. Take a bump, D'Lo. Take a D- bump, D'Lo. D'Lo bump instead of me. Good Lord. D'Lo, because I have no life, right? I, I really got into the young. Because <laughs> I have no life. I mean, I got to be honest. <clears throat> Disclaimer. Big fan of the young rock. Last season... Um, yeah. The Rock gets involved with this guy, Chad Frost. And then eventually the dirt sheets come out. And everybody says this guy, Chad Frost, is Shawn Michaels, who's stabbing him in the back. Then they interview Shawn Michaels, and he claims he really never had interaction with Dwayne Johnson. Mm-hmm. What do you know about that? Were you involved there? Did you see that going on? Was there interaction? No. Was there not interaction? I I never saw any of that, and 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 you know when Rock first came in, I came in after him, so I didn't deal with that like any of that stuff, and then I never saw him and Sean really interact. It felt like two ships in a night because as as you know, Rocky got injured, then joined the Nation. Sean was kind of on his way out at that point because he had hurt his back. You know, he right. just had the, you know. He, he just had the incident with his back, and he had lost to Austin at Mania, and then he was kind of gone. And he lost his smile, too. So He <laughs> lost his smile. He, yeah. he lost a few things. Yeah. Um, and so I, I never saw the interaction between the two of them like, like that. Um, but, hey, anything's possible. Like, I, I, I don't want, I don't want to, to speak on it because I didn't see it. I, I'm not going to say it didn't happen. I'm not going to say it did happen. I have no, I have no clue. As a wrestling fan, would you consider that a missed opportunity that we never got to see The Rock and Shawn Michaels really uh, have something? Yeah. I, okay. I, I would love to have seen The Rock as Rocky got over, mm-hmm. like big time become The Rock, and mm-hmm. and Michaels. Heck yeah! Like that would have been, that would have been awesome. It's a like, missed I just, opportunity. You think back as, yeah. I believe it's a missed opportunity because you think as a fan. Here are these two charismatic forces coming together. That would have been something. Like, you could have headlined WrestleMania with that kind of match. Could have. Could yeah, have. for sure. Montreal screw job. Ooh. Work? Mm-hmm. Was it a work? I, I think it was a work. I always thought it was a work. Nice. Um, it, 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 it's very funny that there was a camera crew who just happened to be filming Brett that, that weekend. <laughs> He's got a point. Um, <laughs> I mean, there was there was too many like like I saw Vince after it happened in the parking lot, and he didn't look too worse for wear. The next day, he had a black eye. Now, hey, a black eye does swell up overnight, <laughs> what? but yeah, it does. <laughs> what? <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> the next day, ow! <laughs> yeah, so uh, wow. I, I I was I was in that locker room dressing, and I found it weird that they cleared the locker room, and then two minutes later, Vince comes staggering out. Eh, it is what it is. And then Bret Hart goes away but, for like Bret Hart goes away for like thirteen years. That's part of the work, though. That's what always could well, because they were they were getting the money. But no, let me good. I, that part I, I can't figure that part of the work out. Thank you, thank you. 
Because that confuses me. Well, I kind of think that maybe Vince couldn't afford his contract and got him a better contract because he had loyalty to him. I'm just amazed if it is a work, how are they holding on to this secret for such a long time without someone finally (laughs) saying something? Nah. Well, I know you don't like him, but if you listen to Jim Cornette, he explains the work several times. Ah. You're going to make me listen to Jim Cornette? Thanks a lot. Yes, I am. Damn. YouTube him. He explains the Montreal screw job several times on the show. He's a great listen. I'll admit that. He's a great listen for sure. How about the click? Were they as bad as people claim they were? Nash, Hall, Triple H, Michaels. And once again, I was right on the on the tail end of it because that's when Hall and Nash had gone down to WCW. So when I was there, it was only uh, Pac, Sean, and Trips. That was the click. And okay. they were, they were, you know, I had no issue with them. They were cool as hell to me. Probably because I had Ron Simmons standing behind me, so that made life easy. You think it's the Razor Ramon uh, ingredient that may have made the click what it was in some ways? It, it could have been a combination of Razor and, and, and Diesel because they were they were two grown children and they were allowed to be because that, that right. they were good at what they were doing. So right. they, they, they had control of the locker room. Do you consider yourself fortunate that you came in on the tail end of the click to not deal with the nonsense? I will say I consider myself fortunate to have been there in the time when I got there and had as much fun as I could. Yes. Oh, yeah.